today's lesson, we are going to discuss inserting charts in Microsoft Word and in OpenOffice. Um, we are going to do three types of charts, namely a line chart, a column chart, and a pie chart. Now, each of those charts are usually used to illustrate different things. A line chart you would use to illustrate a trend, for instance, um, if you want to see how a share is performing on the market. A column chart can be used to illustrate or compare different types of data. And a pie chart is generally used to compare proportional data like percentages. So for today's lesson, we're going to start with a column chart. So I have a table of information ready that we are going to use. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to click on the Insert tab. And in the Illustrations group, we are going to choose Chart. Now the Chart dialog box comes up with all the different types of charts that you could choose. So for today, I'm going to choose a column chart, and I'm just going to choose the one that Word defaults on. And I'm going to say OK. Now, Microsoft Word splits your window in two. On the right-hand side, you've got your Excel, where you're going to type the data in that you want illustrated in the chart here in Word. So you can either type the data in yourself, or you can copy it from Word. I'm going to use this to illustrate the months and rainfall. So I'm using months, and I'm using rainfall in millimeters. So now, instead of retyping the information I have in my Word document in my Excel, all I'm going to do is copy. So in my Word document, I'm going to highlight the information that I want to copy. I'm going to right-click and choose Copy. And then I'm going to click in my Excel document, and I'm going to choose Paste. And I'm going to do the same for the rainfall. In Word, I'm going to highlight the rainfall I want to illustrate. I'm going to right-click and choose Copy. And in my Excel document, I'm going to choose Paste. Now, we don't want Series 2 and we don't want Series 3, so all I'm going to do is highlight those two columns. I'm going to right-click and I'm going to delete them because that's not the information that I need. So once I'm done with that, I can close the Excel part of it and my data is illustrated in Word. So we have our rainfall, our months, and we have our rainfall. If you want to format this further, um, and we want to maybe give the x-axis a title and the y-axis a title, we can. You just click on the chart, and I am now going to click on Layout. And in the Labels group, I'm going to click on Axis Titles. I'm going to choose my horizontal title, which is the x-axis below. And I'm going to type in months. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go back to axis titles. This time I'm choosing the vertical title, and that's usually the y-axis. I am going to rotate the title because it's just easier that way. And I'm going to type in rainfall in millimeters. And now we have a chart. This over here is our legend, and we don't actually need our legend in this case because we can see that that's January, that's February, that's March. So all I'm going to do is click on the legend and delete it. And if you wanted to take it a step further, you can even change the color of each column representing the various months of the year. So to do so, I'm going to click on my first column. I'm going to click on it again. So only this column has got the handles around it. I'm going to go to Format. And I'm going to go to my Shape Styles. And I'm going to choose a Shape Fill. And I'm going to choose a different color. And then you can do it for all of them. So that each month, is represented by a different color. And there you have your column chart in Microsoft Word.
to be able to type in your own information, you select your chart. We are going to click on the View tab, and I'm going to go to the Chart Data table. You must make sure that you can see your information that you want to put in when you open the data table. Otherwise, it just makes it difficult to insert the right information. So before I even start, I am going to get rid of the information that we don't need. So I'm going to click on column 2, and I'm going to choose Delete Series. And I'm going to do the same thing for column 3. And then under Category... I am going to select my information. I'm just going to type in Jan, Feb, March. I'm just going to go as far as April. And then I'm going to type in the values that we need. Okay, and once I've done all that, I can close my data table and the information will have been put into my Word document. Again, we don't need the legend, so we can click on the legend and we can delete it. And then I'm going to change the column colors, just like we did in Word. So I'm going to click on the first column. I'm going to click on the first column again, so that only the first column has got the handles around it. I'm going to go to Format Selection, and I'm going to choose a color. And I'm going to do that with all of them so that they each have their own color. Same as Microsoft Word. If you want to insert a heading, because you will notice that there are no, there's no x-axis title, there's no y-axis title, and there's no main title, you select your chart. We're going to go to Insert and Titles. And my main title is going to be rainfall and I'm going to click where it says x-axis and I'm going to choose months and my y-axis title is going to be rainfall in millimeters once I've typed in all the information that you need all you need to do is click OK and you will see that it's inserted a chart title our x-axis title and our y-axis title and that's how you insert a column chart in Word and OpenOffice. It's quite similar to do a line chart. I'm going to go back to Word. I'm going to go to Insert Chart. This time I'm going to choose a line chart. I'm going to again just keep with the, stay with the default chart. Again the window gets split in two. So all I'm going to do is copy my information from Word into Excel because it just makes life a lot easier. I'm going to delete the column that I don't need. And again, I'm just going to copy the information. need our last column and then if I go back to my Word document once I've closed Excel it will show us our line chart okay if I've closed Excel and now in Microsoft Word you will see that it shows us our line chart and just like a column chart you can go to layout you can go and insert your x-axis titles. You can insert your chart title if that's what you want. And you can delete your legend if that's what you want. Right, just as easy it is to insert a line chart and a column chart, we are going to insert a pie chart. So once again, I'm going to go to insert. In my illustrations group, I'm going to choose chart. This time we're going to choose a pie chart. And if you look at the bottom, you have got an option to choose a normal pie or a 3D pie. I think we'll choose a 3D pie for today and I'm going to say OK. You'll notice that my window once again has been split in two. 
So all I'm going to do is I am going to copy my information from Word and I am going to paste it into Excel. And once I've done that, I can close my Excel and you can see that the information has been charted in my pie chart. Now, a pie chart on its own doesn't really mean much. You always need to add data labels to your pie chart. It just means a bit more if you do so. So to do that, you select your chart. We're going to go to layout. And this time, we are going to go to data labels. You're going to go to more data label options. And for today, I am going to choose percentage. And you can even choose the category name and close. And now you will notice that it's put the category name and the percentage on each piece of the pie chart. Because it's done that, I'm not going to need my legend anymore. And just like in the column chart, you can change the colors of each piece of pie by going to format. We're going back to our shape fill, and I'm just going to make it a bit lighter so that you can actually see the value and the series name. Okay, and there we have our pie chart. And that's our lesson on inserting charts in Word and OpenOffice. <laughs>